All right, and welcome back to Draymond Does Gaming. Draymond here playing more Life is Strange. Now, last time, well, we finished off episode two out of time with the attempted suicide of Kate. Um, we talked her off the ledge and then we had, we were proposed an interesting choice of who to blame for, uh, who to blame for that. And one, the options were Nathan Prescott, which obviously we took, um, David Madsen, which would make sense as well from what we've seen, and Mr. Jefferson, which was a bit odd, to be perfectly honest. Um, from what we've seen so far, it seemed a little bit out of place, but it got me thinking about it. And it, from from these little snippets that we've seen, um, with the with the the photos, with the binders, with the girls' names on them, and things like that. Um, what if it's what if it's something like Mr. Jefferson, who's been taking pictures of the, you know, younger girls, etc. What happens if it's um, something along that lines? And, you know, that conversation we just had on the phone, uh, or that we kind of heard with Mr. Jefferson when he was on the phone in the hallway, what if that was Kate Marsh um, calling him? You know? Like, I'm, I'm just trying to think as to why he would be an option there. Maybe that's it. We already know he's a bit, you know, provocative with the younger girls like Victoria, etc. Um, he seems to welcome that versus push it away. So maybe, maybe that's something that we need to be looking at in the future um, and be aware of. So, that's that's my thought on it, um, right now. But I'm still quite happy with what we with what we chose with Nathan. Um, he's now suspended. Maybe that maybe that means he will get out of our hair for a bit. I highly doubt it, and I do want to like change the locks on my house. <laughs> uh, so we, yeah, we chose Nathan because you know. We've seen the bullying, we've seen the, the video, we've seen... Well, I don't think we've seen the video, but we've heard of it. Um, it definitely sounds like he drugged her, took videos, in charge of all the parties, etc. He's crazy, He has like he's had a gun, he's dealing drugs. You know, all that, all that fun stuff. So, with that, with that in mind... We're going to start episode three, Chaos Theory. Um, chaos Theory, I do love that. So let's check it out and see what happens. Yes, we know it's a Square Enix game. <laughs> I think Dope Nod should be first before Square Enix, but hey. Passed out. Sure looks like it. Kate. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
show you meet me in front of the campus. I knew Chloe would be all over this. Yeah. So I better get moving. Okay. Let's go check it all out here. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Oi. Now she has What's another up, video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. Rachel and I shouldn't sound so disappointed. Yeah, see, that's a little crazy. Like, it's 12 years, 4, 13, 11. Yeah, once every... So it doesn't seem like it'd be like a serial killer type of thing then. Okay. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Oh, the this is her, like, page... Well, behind you thinking of you. Well, yeah, no kidding. Especially since a lot of these, um, like Victoria is just, and Taylor probably are just doing it because some of these people, like Alyssa, might, Evan, maybe, etc. Um, and Courtney might. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Yeah. <clears throat> Max Power. Nice. That's funny. Oh, these are, these are neat. Okay. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might... First I save Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have a rant. Oh, Are is this hungry, Kate's? Buddy? Here, nosh on this. Yeah, this is Kate's rabbit. I guess we're taking care of a rabbit. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Is still all the same stuff. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. It really does. None of that was good. Ooh, thanks for the image, Nathan. Oy. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of funny because we saw, like, blaming, we could, so, and that brings me back to, like, blaming Jefferson, bring, no blaming way can I clean that Nathan. Shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Um, et cetera. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Yeah. Um, but Samuel, the janitor guy. Who's just kind of creepy was not a choice but i guess it's more so creepy that he's got pictures of rachel i don't think he had any of hate so yeah you know all that fun stuff let's lock all the windows Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Great. So much hypocrite. Yeah. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Wherever you go, there I am. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. 
This hasn't turned into like a horror game now, has it? What a mortal hand where I could frame thy fearful symmetry. Yeah, I hope this hasn't turned into a horror game. Oh, um, waiting for you, Kate. Hey, Max, come here. Hello. Does it not want to... Oh. I wanted to look at the paper wall. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, this is... Okay. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb forever. I know I act tough around everybody, and I never had to act around you not the kind of man you deserve you saw how i passed out okay yes the vortex club does indeed suck it it sure does let me just use that while she's Aww, there trevor is a sweetie good for dana why is my dog Working again. Um. Hey Dana, I've been thinking of you all day. I know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof. But that's Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate, and I wish you more friends like you. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. If you're doing af okay after this, uh, I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper, and I wanted to know if you could answer a few short questions. Sincerely, Juliet. Okay, interesting. All right. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. That's what happens. She was depressed? I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Yep. It must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Um, why was she on the roof? That's all you know. Kate was serious. Kate was serious. But it's not all about that video. Mm -hmm. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Interesting. That's not exactly great if um, Victoria is out and about as well. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. Um. What about I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I was lucky. That's all. No, girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her. Like a superhero. <laughs> then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Yep. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? 
Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Interesting. Okay. I don't think that really changed much. But... Oh, Victoria it isn't is. here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. What does that mean? I can go into her room then? Since I've crossed the line, those boots are made for walking runways. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Yeah. I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. Pretty well. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Um, hate that thing. Why did it like zoom in on the loaded with Satan? Lion. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. <laughs> Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Alright. Uh, hey, sweet tea, what's up? I'm just avoiding some lame science homework. How can anyone do homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? I can't believe we all saw it live. It's like watching a reality show. I've seen the campus so quiet, like everybody's hiding and afraid. Yeah, I feel like for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video, Let's get some peeps to meet up later. Girl needs serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. Interesting. Yeah. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. That Twemo Max Crackfield got me suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their stuff and were threatening me with a job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me repping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go down at the end of the world party. And the end of the world party is on. You in? Are you kidding? That's bull. No way Blackwell can suspend you. I knew that Max is trouble first time I saw her. But kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera knows that everyone she hangs around gets in trouble. And yes, Florida X Club will be bringing the end of the world black. Well, no matter what, I'll SMS you later so we can plot in person. Hang in there. Yeah. Great. First Rachel and now Kate. This is the end of the Vortex Club. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Yeah. Excellent. Well research essay with unique point of view. Oh. That's it, eh? Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really have nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Well, if she couldn't hide her stuff, does that mean that... There's like an extra thing now? No, it doesn't. Okay. It's like I'm looking at this lion stuffy going. That's gotta be something. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. 
I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? Hmm. I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She hmm. already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will like make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Interesting. Thanks. You're like weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Interesting. I do want to see what the uh, other one was about. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Christine. Oh, man. Like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Interesting. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Yep. Okay. So we know... That didn't really change anything for us. What's that say? Praying for a fast recovery? Oh, yeah. Oy, there's so many hypocrites here. We actually have to head out and, like, walk in the dark everywhere, because that's going to be creepy, isn't it? So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. <laughs> Nothing here. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So who does? Interesting. Hate that. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Nobody. Nuts and bolts, <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nothing but tools. Okay. Nothing else really in here. Just a girl's scarf. Which is creepy as all hell. Why does it have to be nighttime? Max, yes. We're on our way. We probably could have taken a picture there, couldn't we have? That's okay. We don't need to get all of the pictures. Principal uh, Wells! Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he down. sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Hmm. Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off, entitled parents who want to blame me for their Miss Smith Caulfield. You have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. 
Maybe save Blackwell. Interesting. Now don't get cocky. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Can't like go all the way up and around, can we? Max, stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. Uh, oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Max the Ninja strikes again. Okay, I didn't see him try opening the door, so that makes sense. Okay. Now, where... Booyah! Jesus. Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. <laughs> hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. Then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You mm. obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, yeah. and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? <laughs> chaos theory. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate yeah. time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially mm -hmm. after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Makes sense. Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not, Not just, just them. them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. I can still feel David's hand on my face. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Mm -hmm. Maybe too much power. I don't think Max, she's actually we alive. we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just... Don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're the in it to win it, on and then off. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. <laughs> we saw that, right? The... Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. That Hopefully makes sense. the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from 
Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time hmm. together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm Gross. going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Yeah. That's Are you gross. fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. But that explains why that light was on and then I saw it turn off. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers right. didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Great. Just, what, immediately go in there and that's it? There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. At security, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty students, but I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. 15.4% um, drop in campus crime. Okay. Interesting. It's like. I'm wondering too now, like, with it all, if David's not even associated with the disappearances, the issues, and stuff. Perhaps it's, uh. Only a, a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. It, that's fine. Just thinking about things for, like, a second playthrough, like, how, how would you do this differently? It scrolls like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Are you not in there yet, Chloe? That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Yep. I would imagine... <sighs> no keys here. Thing to see here. Squirrels like nuts. Oh, that's Does just that, that mean again. Samuel is. Nah. Desolation. 
usually going to be like the last place you look. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Okay. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. I know there's some over there, but... Nothing here. Okay, well, maybe it is just there. The first key, first row. Nothing here. Nope. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Mm -hmm. Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Sugar, soda can, duct tape. Sodium chlorine. Power needs to create chlorine dioxide. Everyone knows that. Really gonna try this? Keyword is try. I vouch your wisdom. Nice. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. What do you know? Trash. Vending machine. Nothing in it. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Oh, that was just look not open. Okay. Just emptied. Nothing here. Release the crack can. <laughs> it's all mine anyway. Okay. One. Only three more items to go. What's the other stuff? Why is it so dark? Hate this. Gross. I hate that formal and smell. Sam file. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Nice. You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. It's fine now. Ooh, sugar. Hey. You're halfway home, Max. He's still there? Did you blow up? Max. Still here, didn't blow up. Not yet. Need to concentrate. Yep. I never said they were great, troll. Chemistry stuff. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Mm. 
So sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Hmm. Okay. No, this mixture doth not work. Okay. Weed killer, eh? So that's back that way. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Yep. This is like a scene in a horror film. Great. You can never escape the lighthouse here. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kate, even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said mm -hmm. Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? You go. Gonna see something out there. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. The tape is mine. Only one more ingredient left. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. <laughs> the weed killer? Where the heck would we find weed killer here? Principal's office. Okay, so it has to be somewhere. If you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, give it up. Okay. Good to know. It's somewhere in there. Thank you for the hint. A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. <laughs> Ass biology. Ugh, oh, gross. <laughs> colon and everything. Yep. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. <laughs> Good evening, fish fish. Seems like a terrible choice, but we'll take it. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. Like, I thought we looked everywhere in here. Ow. 
up top. Really? Here's the sodium chloride box. Max, if you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, you know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. And she actually put it back too. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. That's surprising. Still hate all of this. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. Seems like a terrible plan. That was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Go fast. Rewind and find something. So I can get this bastard open. She can't cheat with a rewind. <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome Interesting. to my domain. That's... You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. That's the company one way to do I it. keep. Now, let's find what we want and feed it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. We'll say that was pretty cool. That's one way to do it. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Yep. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Yep. Holy moly. All right. Marsh represents very best students. Her GPA is consistently outstanding. One with optimistic attitude, work ethic, meals on wheels, etc. School nurse experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. She was upset, but refused to talk. Mm hmm. Present times for investigation. Controversial video at a core vortex. Okay. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. Also, um, warm. So, did you pull up a lock Unibomber? Please just want to see if you nukes, and you're incredible. Nice. Um, private number. 
Great. That's probably Nathan. <laughs> nice. Okay. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Stop attending for the last month. No contact. Parents are present, unaware of her whereabouts. Okay. Was essential student sales and all. Popular with everyone. Okay. And close on our end. Um. So it looks like. I haven't been able to find Damn, anything. I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Uh, problematic. Little homework. Belligerent. Class descriptions. E spray painting. It's intelligent, but she's... Alright, no longer. Okay. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. You're not so tacky up close. Mm. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Okay. So it actually worked. All right, cool. That's something. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. <laughs> the suspension feel my large contribution should also be suspended. The situation can be rectified once he's reinstated. So then, Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I suggest cancelling Thursday's party. It's not conducive to the can-do spirit. Reconsider. Yeah, gross. And nothing here. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Whiskey bottle. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Mm. Yeah. Pretty well. We searched this already, right? I certainly can't use this. Looks like an oil paintings bill. Awful. Look at this pile. Okay. Tumbleweed. Look everywhere, Max. There has to be some info oh. in the student files. There we go. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Yeah, that's not right. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Yep. 2.8. <laughs> Maxine. Um, quite attentive. Much potential for photography. Fluctuates. Could be doing better. Light intelligence. Hey, that sounds very familiar. Um, complaints find her too nervous or nosy. Speak up more, more assertive, so forth. Present the very best by stopping fellow student from jumping. Yeah. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Gold standard. Ugh. All right. Don't need to read. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. 4.0, oh, wow. Exemplary student represents long tradition of excellence. Gift or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Science pranks, but not confirmed. Okay. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, 
You better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. I mean, that makes David sense. David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott? That's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you hey. know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Okay. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? <laughs> or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. Exactly. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Yeah. Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself. I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. No. You, you really want to take money from the handicapped fund? Yeah. I know you need to pay Frank back, but... <sighs> I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. Yeah, you don't steal But yes, that. Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. Surprised they didn't do something like print those, um... I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Yeah, we're not... Okay, so, some thoughts here. Uh, because I had some thoughts while Chloe was talking. Um, what if David isn't really in involved in this just due to Nathan bringing it up to the head of security and that's why he's following her around because he's following up on leads etc so he's getting information from Nathan who's feeding him false information um, so that could be something uh, has disrupted various classes of past month despite repeated Morning's lean sea due to crude outburst in Miss Oida's intro to literature. Sent back to his dorm, got a proper write up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but erratic um, behavior. Yeah, no kidding. Um, update expunged record. It's outrageous, impossible, slanderous, accusing him of. We're certain this must be his mistake. We fear we'll take Nathan up for more prestigious and better funded. Great. Gross. Following list is reported in incidents, outbursts, confrontations, remorse and repentance from school placed him under psychological supervision. Throwing a desk, cursing at his English teacher, lighting firecrackers, stealing school supplies, threatening, attempting theft. Okay. Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule acting in front of a as a front for another local dealer. That's probably wildly inaccurate. 
In Rachel's exemplary status, I told David I would need more concrete proof, but he promised he had more to show. Surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber, she seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. Yeah. So, which we saw him do with Kate. Because I'm wondering now if David's doing this because Nathan's feeding him info. So, oh man, there are so many things that could be happening right now. Um, let me take a picture of that, eh? Yeah. We turned off all the lights. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Great. Okay. We'll probably end, end up here after this little cutscene. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls night out, so I better follow her evil plan. This sounds terrible. Okay, so first off, let's let's come to some of these pages. Let's read some of the stuff, kind of see what's on um, on Max's mind. See if we get these same kind of thoughts. Uh, speaking of expectations, David Madsen talked to me without being a total prick. I want to tear him a new one for hating Chloe. Um, and he didn't seem sufficiently sorry to me. I know Chloe provokes him, but that's no excuse to hit someone, especially a family member. I see that David is sorry and trying to reach out to me. I know he saw terrible things in combat. I just can't trust him in his paranoid surveillance fetish, especially with how weird he acts with Kate, like she's a criminal. I'll give David props for trying to smoke the peace pipe with me, but he acts like he's still at war. So, again... That's one of the things, right? Um, he's treating her like a criminal because he's being fed information that she might be a drug mule, etc. Same thing as Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber disappears, that type of thing, right? So is this, is this the same thing here where he's acting on stuff that he's given? Uh, something odd, uh, odd happened as if everything happening isn't the sorrow, but I just saw Kate have intense conversation with Mr. Jefferson, running away in tears. I wish I could have casually asked, oh, by the way, what's up with Kate? Like he would tell me anyways. No, Kate treats Jefferson like he's an apostle or something, so what did he say to make her so upset? And this is kind of feeding into a theory about that. That's when I wasn't feeling good about Chloe and me walking Jefferson class, seeing Nathan and Victoria actually sitting on my desk real bookends yeah so between her and jefferson what's the deal there does that feed into that theory i was talking about earlier could jefferson actually be part of it why could we blame jefferson well maybe there's those choices Kate Marsh almost killed herself. My hands are still shaking, but I st still have to write this down while I can. Right at the start of Jefferson's class, Kate went to the roof. The girls dormed to jump. Every student and teacher was watching her. It was like a Blackwell rooftop concert. I saw her actually jump, but I was able to use Rewind, get back on her roof. Tried harder than I ever did and somehow stopped time completely. I made it to the roof, but again, my felt like it was head felt like it was going to blow up. You know, I couldn't keep rewinding. I had to try to talk her down on my own. This is, um, that's a cool imagery. It's already in so much pain over the video and the bullying, so she wasn't going to buy everything I tried to tell her. See movies with people trying to talk someone out, 
but it's very different when I'm the one doing the talking. I covered everything I could, and she still almost jumped. Cliché or not, I told her how much her friends and family love her, even if they don't all show it. Lo and behold, she stepped back from the ledge, alive. I almost cried in her arms. Agreed. That wasn't about me, though I have to admit, it's an amazing feeling to walk arm in arm with Kate from the roof to outside the dorm. Like I said, the whole school and police were watching us, almost completely silent. Then I heard what sounded like Logan yelling out, give it up for Max, and everybody started clapping cheer, talked about surreal, the people who ignored me or treated me were suddenly crushing on me. That might be the strangest thing that's happened to me this insane week. That made me wonder if Victoria was watching and how she felt about all this. I almost wanted to find her just to get in her smug face for enabling her suicide attempt. Such cruel... yeah. Though to be fair, she wasn't the only one that was responsible. Nathan Prescott seemed to have disappeared, which was probably a good thing. Yes. After all that, I still had to talk to the police, give a statement. Felt so weird to do, since I've been seen it. I've seen it in pretty much every police procedural show. I had to lie my ass off when he questioned me about other students because I just don't think the police are ever going to find out what happened. Yes, this looks like a job for Supermax, right? Though, of course, I do love it when Chloe calls me that, even if it. I don't feel that everyday heroic for helping Kate down. Maybe it's wrong for me to think. I have to feel anything but grateful that Kate didn't jump. And what was really odd was when all the students and faculty surrounded me and Kate, and then started patting our backs and shoulders like we were heroes. I wasn't sure how to respond considering Kate almost threw herself off the roof because of everybody there. But like I said, I can't blame everyone. And I still don't know where to point all my fingers. The very best thing was that even though Kate was still in tears and confused, definitely saw her smile once she realized how happy everyone was that she was alive. I smiled too. The police paramedics swooped in. Kate was covered in blanket, gently escorted to the ambulance. They didn't thank me or look at me like I was a hero. I guess they're used to saving people without applause. But if I'm super honest, it would have been, it felt pretty cool. Like I got a hug from the whole school. So maybe Blackwell isn't totally bad. True. It's not totally, there's just a lot of bad. It's not enough that Kate is live, and though I'm not enough of an egomaniac to take the credit, I still had to get the Blackwell third degree from Principal Wells. It was bizarre to be in his tacky office with Nathan Prescott, David Madison, and Mr. Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate would attempt suicide. I was quiet but giddy inside, just replaying in my head. It's like, Jefferson is like the odd, odd, odd one in here, right? Um... When Kate stepped toward me with glimmer of hope in her eyes, part of me wanted to smash Nathan's smug face against the desk, knowing he had a lot to do with Kate's suicide attempt. I thought about doing it, flipping for a quick rewind, but I knew that would be the start of a bad, dangerous habit. Uh, it would have been funny, though. Fortunately, Principal Wells amazingly did the right thing and booted Nathan for a few days after I told him what happened in the bathroom. He must have had more stuff on Nathan, because otherwise I doubt this would happen to a Prescott. That's some small justice. There will be more if it's the last thing I can do, which it could be if I'm not careful. Agreed. I mean, grilled, hung out with Warren on the lawn so I could feel grass under my feet, watch the fluffy clouds. His sweetheart kept telling me how proud he was that I stopped Kate. I don't believe that I did, but I have to say it's better to be treated like a hero than a loser. Yeah, that's true. Still, I told Warren that something ominous is happening at Blackwell, Rachel Amber, Chloe, and now Kate have all been victims, not to mention me. If I keep playing amateur detective, wish I could have let Warren know about my power, but it's not the right time, as if anything is the right time anymore. And make the day end most surreal note possible. The sky went dark, we watched the alert clips that was not announced on any news or astronomy site. What is happening? Agreed. What is happening? Dear diary, I have the power to rewind time and I ended up on a rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk, woke up reaching down out to rewind or grab Kate. Remember when my journal entries were about eh, which anime character I wanted to be, or my dreams of being a respected globe hopping photographer, or what me and Chloe would be doing when we were finally adults. At least we know that turn how that turned out so far. Chloe is determined to get to the bottom of what's going on, so I've been playing What Would Chloe Do?, which means blowing off my Blackwell homework to research everything I can on Kate Marsh, Rachel Amber, and the Steam Prescotts. It'd be too easy peasy if they were all connected, all connected, but at this point. 
I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to this. I can already see the story on the National Geographic channel, Mystic, Scientific, or Apocalyptic, the Arcadia Bay Tornado. Speaking of fear, I still think about Kate sadness in her eyes. And I'm so grateful she's alive. Love seeing students at Blackwell show their support uh, for her with gifts and flowers. At least I feel better now that Nathan's suspended. It's good he's off campus for a few days, I hope. And like, I care if the Prescott family sends a team of lawyers after me. Please, I doubt they would like all the publicity. I doubt their tentacle reach into the rest of Oregon. Um, not yet anyways. Leave it to Chloe to make me sneak pa oh, past curfew and demand I meet her in front of the main building in the dead of night. I knew Chloe would be all over investigating the campus after what happened. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened to Rachel, if anything. Mm -hmm. It's funny though, that even though we, I think I can just remind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before. If this was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be setting up some serious irony. Like I'm going to rewind myself out of existence or something. Yeah, kind of. It's kind of what it feels like. I honestly say that I have this ability for the rest of my life. Are the tornado, the snow, and the eclipse just hallucinations, or are they genuine prophecy? More importantly, is this a curse or a blessing? Chloe's alive and by my side, that has to be a miracle, which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I broke her to hook up with Chloe. She said something to show me. Um, looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas. Nice. It's fantastic. Keymaster Chloe says this riff off of um, Kingdom Hearts. As I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I passed by Kate's door, saw all the nice messages. Too bad most Blackwell didn't care when they passed around the video and bullied her up to that roof. Exactly. And that's the part that people need to really think about. It's your actions during the time that influence where someone gets to, right? not about showing them love and stuff after the fact. It's doing it before. Um, everyone always cares when it's too late. Yeah, actually, there, right there. That, that sentence right there. At least Kate will see that people are on her side, finally. I hope I can visit her when this all blows over. Maybe that's not a good choice of words, yeah. Well, that was close. I was doing so well and when I got outside, and of course, Principal Will was, of all people, was blocking the way. The one person I least wanted to see. I wasn't ninja enough for him, so yeah, he busted me, but finally got to see that the gossip was true for a change. He was drunk, and he didn't even try to hide it. In fact, he was a lot cooler drunk than sober. So why he's so confused dealing with Kate's family, Prescott, David Madsen, he still acts suspicious and gives me way too much to, as he would say. Nobody says that. I can see that he's under a lot of pressure, so much so that he's wasted and he can't even use his keys at midnight. Sure, he was in my way, he was no match for my rewind power after that. Go meet Chloe, Bad Max. Though I was in full ninja mode, Chloe still scared me, and which pissed me off considering what I've been going through. Sometimes she's so damn insensitive to other people's feelings. Yep. She wants all my attention for her in finding Rachel. And she gets all hurt if I don't have time for her. Obviously, I have time in hand, but I can't stay mad at her for long. And she was so excited having those keys to the main building. Honestly, I was pretty amped, too. In spite on Victoria talking smack about me, shocked and worse, actually trying to blackmail Mr. Jefferson uh, to make her photo. I gave Mr. Jefferson major respect for telling her to get lost, even though she deserved to be expelled for pulling that. This is her priority after what happened with Kate. I just don't understand Victoria, no matter how I try. She's already rich, pretty, and a good photographer. Why try and hurt so many and to manipulate everything already in your favor? Just hope that's not what I'm doing with my rewind power. That's not. That's very different. Um, It might feel similar, but it's it really isn't. Yes, that's something incredibly awesome about uh, breaking in your own school at the witching hour. Although Chloe is technically right, how can we break in with a key? Never mind that, it was a stolen key from the school's head of security. Anyway, Blackwell Ninja strike again. So cool to stalk the halls when it's dark and quiet. Even with so many terrible things happening all around us, it felt like Chloe and I were 
walking towards the center of a great cosmic mystery, something bigger than any of us. We, but we kind of suck as master spies since we didn't already have a key for principal's office. No worries with my rewind po power at hand. Of course, Dr. Warren Graham came through with a mini bomb made of sodium, whatever. Probably learned more putting those ingredients together than the entire semester so far. That's funny. Uh, sorry, Miss Grant. Warren is the star student here. He tries to hard to help. Maybe too much, but what's wrong with that these days? I'm so grateful he's on my team. Agreed. Talk about being in the sancti Sanctorum. Thanks, Latin class. I barely passed. A Blackwell. It did feel weird about being in the principal's office after midnight, going through files on the laptop with Chloe. It's way too into it. Technically, we could be arrested in their own jail. Thanks, I just pretend that we're on a very special episode of the Wizards of Waverly Place. You know, a couple wacky Sherlock's investigating school for a good cause. All right, and last one here. Well, we didn't find the proof. We found Nathan's file on a weird drawing that just said Rachel in the dark room over and over. So that's a major clue that Nathan's involved in this somehow, or he's just insane, but his note also referenced David M. Which means that we absolutely have to find a way into David's secret bunker files for a good cause. So this is one thing that I want to talk about too, is Rachel in the dark room. Is the only dark rooms I think of, or when I think of dark rooms, especially in the sense of photography, is where you go and develop your film. So do we need to find that room? Is does that mean Jefferson's involved? Because that would be his like sanctum. Um, and I'm using sanctum probably because you know we just read it right here, right? So that's interesting. But Chloe can't help herself in check. She want to take a five grand in cash marked handicap fund because that's got to be legit. Am I right? I can't think of a faster route to Karma Hill. But it would have paid off Chloe's debt to Frank. I stopped her, but it kind of bothers me that Chloe can be so selfish like that. I'm not going to let anything happen to her, but I can't let her do anything she wants. Mad Max? More like Mommy Max. Agreed. Yeah, we can't let her just do everything. Oh, yeah. I think we missed a few photo opportunities, or is this, like, the first one? I, I don't think these are in any order. Okay. Well, with that, we're going to... We're going to pause it here, and yeah, I think our, like, this is getting into more, like, the, the detective part, the what's going on, the investigation, and I'm really enjoying this, this part so far, so hope you guys are as well, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye for now.